Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Friday the 26th of March 2021. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to use the Robin Wood Tarot for today's reading. Let's see what the cards have to say and what energy we'll be working with on this day. And I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're not being confronted with too much conflict from other people and that things are going well. Let's have a look at Friday. First we've got the Page of Cups. Okay. The moon in reverse, oh, that's good. And the king of swords, love him in his little outfit with his Batman wings, adorable. Okay, if you read the tarot yourself, there are 78 cards in a tarot deck. And if you use all the cards upright, you've got 78 meanings and that's great. But if you feel like you know the meanings of the cards, an easy way to add another 78 meanings to one deck is by simply including reversals. Reversals in the tarot are quite easy to read because each card has a specific message and when you reverse it, the way I usually read it, unless my intuition tells me otherwise, is the, the, the opposite of that vibe or what isn't there. So let's have a look at what this is. First of all, the Page of Cups is a court card. He's inexperienced and he's just figuring out relationships. He's trying to understand himself, what he's about, what he loves. He's got this little painter's palette there and a cute little dress so he's got a sense of style he likes to make things more beautiful water rules things like love and creativity and spirituality they go hand in hand because that those are the building blocks of the universe water and the suit of cups always allows you to tap into those things and the page of cups today says you have an opportunity for amazing teachable moments where you can find out more about yourself, what you love, what you don't love, the hidden talents that are kind of slumbering within you and that you haven't expressed yet, and also your relationship with something bigger. Do you feel like your life has meaning? Do you feel like you're on the right track? Do you feel like you love certain things or do you not love anything and you feel a disconnect there? I don't know what we've got coming out of this little cup. Is it like a flying fish? Something is revealed to you simply by engaging with your feelings and your emotions. You see something that, boom, you see all these rays of light shooting out. Ding! It opens your eyes and you really understand something about your true self. So you understand your true self today and you're able to learn from yourself. The moon, when it's this way around, is a journey that's really scary. So you start off here, you're in this freezing pool, and you're like, okay, I need to get to this mountain. The moon is really big and intimidating. You don't want to get out of the water because you've got these howling dogs and wolves there. Then there's this these big standing stones. They seem quite daunting. So the whole journey is like, okay, I'm doing this in the moonlight, so I can't really see the wild animals coming after me. We've got a tiny little lobster biting my little toes. It's just uh, scary. How do I move forward when I'm this scared? Shouldn't I just go back into the pool and rest, maybe wait for day? It's a, it's a daunting task. It's something that's ahead of you that you're dreading. Good news, it's in reverse. So we've still got this doorway that the two standing stones create. So there is a way forward. But with these new emotional insights and truths that you've understood about yourself, you're no longer daunted. You're no longer dreading your own personal development because you understand what's going on and you actually enjoy the process and it's pleasurable to move forward. Moving forward then gets you to the King of Swords, which is quite interesting. The King of Swords, another court card, he is not inexperienced like the page. The page is a young man, he's just learning, or a young woman. He is um, an adult, he's empowered, he's got this black cape. There's lots of stuff thrown at him that he has to deal with, but he doesn't let that um, make him feel tied down or overwhelmed. He's really strong, he's got a tough skin, and he's able to transcend difficulties and make decisions which are important to him. He may look very grim because unfortunately he has to deal with negativity at times and he doesn't let that... Um, it's not that it says anything about him. You know, you could have um, two, situ two people, someone who's like a living saint and someone who embezzles from his employer and you put them both in the same negative circumstance and they're both going to look somewhat grim because they're dealing with a lot of 
negativity and they somehow have to get through it. So it doesn't really say that the King of Swords is a, you know, a, a negative man or he's grim or he's unloving. But sometimes you have to shut down your emotions a little bit when you have to make decisions based on your thoughts and your ideas and your experiences, even though you don't like them. So if you're in recovery, for instance, you may not like to go to meetings, but you do it anyway to stay well. It's that kind of vibe. You can't, or he doesn't let his feelings govern his day-to-day -day experience. He likes to make decisions which are based on facts and reason and logic. So understanding about yourself and allowing yourself to move through that journey and actually enjoying it and letting the light open your eyes to yourself gets you to a position where you stand much more in your power and because you understand yourself spiritually and emotionally your thoughts and your decisions now hold more weight you respect yourself more as a result you've done the inner work you are now entitled to express your opinion to ask for the things you want, to demand certain things, to ask for help, to critically assess situations through your own experience, and you share your opinion on those things. It's growing up, but it's interesting that, that accepting yourself on a spiritual level would lead to you being stronger in the public and being able to step into your power and in your truth. What I would imagine is that if you've got the Page of Swords, for instance, who's learning and who's becoming more logical and who moves along that path, would then obviously turn into the king because the more you practice with making decisions and communication and ideas, the better you get at it. But the cards are saying, no, that's not the path you're taking today. It's through loving yourself and accepting yourself and seeing how pure you are in the sense that there are amazing things which are just waiting to come out of you. That gives you a security and a sense of confidence in itself. So that's super interesting. Being opinionated and uh, making decisions isn't just based on logic and reason and experience. It's based on a loving relationship with the self. And that makes sense. Yeah. If you love yourself and you feel you want to share things, then... If you do get it wrong at times, it's not the end of the world because you still have that belief that you're doing the right thing. If you just base something on facts and information, if you make one mistake, then you're beyond redemption because you got it wrong. So why wouldn't you get it wrong again? Well, so that's really great. So um, it's, it's, a, it's a day where you can't criticize yourself into being wiser and more decisive, but simply by accepting who you are and loving the different aspects of yourself, the whole journey becomes easier and you gradually and naturally grow into your own strength and ability to decide. So very little effort. Love. Number wise, we've got 18 and these court cards count as one. So one and one is two and 18 is 20. 20 reduces to two in numerology and two is about relationships. It's about the relationship with yourself, improving the relationship with yourself, and that then improves your relationship with the public, with how other people see you, with your life, with your work, your ability to be confident, to take control of your circumstances, to be accountable and to make good decisions for yourself. So the little girl or boy becomes the adult today. And it's not through being mean to yourself, it's by seeing how amazing and wonderful you are. And I'm not just saying that, every person on this planet has been put here for a reason and each person on this planet has a gift and a skill that they can use to make the world a better place and to improve their own lives in the process every one of us has that everyone and a lot of people are going to be stepping into that power today love it have a wonderful Friday. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to audio reading with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.